We've got Freya Ludley from Millbrook Academy. As she's coming up, uh, I just want to say Freya's favourite things are chocolate, Japanese culture, video games, music, and reading, writing, career aspirations, neuroscientist, or an astronaut. Ooh. All right, Freya, over to you. What is amnesia physically? What is it in our minds? In case you don't know, amnesia is when you have a problem with memory, and it's caused by things like brain damage or disease. As it is a problem with memory, we're going to need to understand what a memory is and how they're formed. I'm going to take you on the journey of a memory. Our memory begins its life in the prefrontal cortex part of our brain. Here it's referred to as a short-term memory or a working memory. They last about 15 to 30 seconds. And it's kind of like remembering a number, a phone number, for a couple of seconds before you write it down. That kind of thing. Our memory will then travel to the hippocampus part of our brain. Here, something fascinating called encoding memory takes place. This is when memories from different senses merge. So you don't remember how something looked and sounded separately. You remember them together in one big happy memory. It's kind of like when the Power Rangers transform into that giant robot made from all the little tiny robots, the Megazord. Anyway, once the memory is encoded and stored, it's called a long-term memory. A long-term memory is thought to be a synapse which is a part of a neuron, which is a, nerve in the ner in the which is a cell in the nervous system. These synapses attach to different neurons all throughout the body. The memory is an electrical impulse sent between these neurons through the synapses that, by a domino effect, through a lot of different neurons, would lead to the part of our brain where our memories are stored. They would tell the brain what to do and what their information is, and in this case, the information is our long-term memory. So now we understand what a memory is. And this brings us back to our original question. What is amnesia? There are, of course, different types of amnesia. But I'm going to explain one of them, anterograde amnesia. This one is a problem with the hippocampus. It means they can't physically form new long-term memories. But they still have all their old memories. It's kind of like when a cell phone runs out of data. You still have all of your old information, just new information can't be stored. This would mean they can't form those synapses that lead to that part of the brain. Or the synapses that lead there could be blocked or disrupted. In both instances, they wouldn't be able to pass on that information that is the memory to each other and to where it can be stored. Amnesia is a physical thing, and we've learnt that, and also how memories are made. I find it fascinating that all of this memory has gone all the time, even now, in our minds. Amnesia is a physical thing, so maybe if we use things like stem cells or other amazing healing possibilities, we could beat amnesia. Thank you, Freya. <laughs> Joe, let's kick off. Uh, very well done, Freya. You grabbed our attention straight away. I like the way you used the space on the stage as well, and you took us on a journey. Whenever you're communicating a subject, I think it's really important to, to tell a story, and I think you did that really, really well. My question is, why did you choose this particular subject? Well, memories and neurology just fascinate me. And I was thinking, there's amnesia, but is that a mental thing or a physical thing? And I did some research into it, and it turns out it's actually a physical thing. Gwen? Um, I just have a question about your memories. So um, can you tell us what your earliest memory is and where do you think that's stored? Um, <laughs> my earliest memory is probably when I was about three years old or probably even younger. And I decided, which was quite a rational thought for a baby, to chuck <laughs> all of my dummies on the floor so my mum would come in and come pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> They're stored around the cerebral cortex of your brain and because we know this because in brain scans, when you remember things, it like, shows up activity around there. Thank you. Wow, I wouldn't know what my first memory was. <laughs> I've, I've tried to ponder it before, but I've never worked it out. Uh, thank you so much. That was super interesting. <laughs>